What's up guys here, it's F2P Beware, basically with a squad builder, I've seen some of the comments, I'm going to flip them about a bit these videos, but yeah, this is a squad builder here guys, um, thanks to all the comments, all the likes, yeah, just keep it going guys, thank you very much for it, anyway, let's move on to the first ever squad builder, I'm probably an amateur at this, I'm probably a noob, yes, but here we go, okay, so starting off, it's a 4-4-2 formation, and this will be a Brazilian team, not a five star skill squad, not all of them, but yeah, this is going to be Brazilian team, so here we go. Let's move on with the first goalkeeper, Diego Alves. As you can see, guys, stats 91 diving, 90 reflexes, positioning 75, beast goalkeeper, quite cheap, also in 442. All these will be in 442, guys, before you ask, as you can probably obviously tell. Moving on. Centre back, we have got D Day, brilliant player on FIFA 12, the same beast 81 pace, 81 defending, 82 heading. Moving on, centre back again, we have Felipe Santana. <clears throat> now, I've been I'm in an iron about this one, guys, either David Luis or Felipe Santana, but at the end of the day, Felipe Santana has. Obviously, a better height, six foot four, and I think he's more beast than David Luiz in this game, FIFA 13, rather than FIFA 12. FIFA 12, obviously, David Luiz had that, you know, he's just ultimate, but this is the main guy <coughs> in defence, I think he is a beast. 81 pace, 77 defending, 84 heading. That's also what I like about this player, he's, he's 84 heading. Moving on, left back Marcelo. Of course, Marcelo. Who wouldn't have Marcelo in left back? Maybe someone have some different, but this is my squad builder, and this is my team. What I think are quite good players here. So we got Marcelo, 83 pace, 80 passing, 83 dribbling, 80 defending. He's beast. What else can I say? Um, yeah, I would highly recommend him. <clears throat> Moving on to the right back wall. That was nearly a foul there, guys. Mourinho. Now this guy is beast. He costs one to two k, I think, on this. Obviously in four four two. He's weak foot is three. His school moves a four star. He's basically a Marcelo as a Vados, but obviously in gold, not in silver. In silver, yeah. So move eighty nine pace, seventy six passing. <clears throat> Sorry about the throat, guys. Seventy seven dribbling, defending seventy two. Now this guy has got everything. He's got that pace. What I need. You know, I think he's just generally a good player at a cheap price. Moving on. Hulk. Four star skill moves. 90 pace, 85 shooting, 78 passing, 82 dribbling. Brilliant player. S centre mid we have... Du -du -du -du, Ramirez. I think he's really beast this season on FIFA 13. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think on these plays as well. Um, 88 pace, 79 passing, 82 dribbling, 76 defending. And yes, he has got a beast long shot, guys. He creates a play while he holds up the play in centre mid quite well. And yeah, that's why I'd recommend him. Okay, another centre mid. <coughs> Sorry, this is a centre attacking mid. Because I can't bother to change him. It so probably sounds bad. Kaka. Yes, Kaka is known for shit, I know he is. But he's got the four star weak foot, he's got the four star skill moves. He, the pace is not that good, I know, I really know. But still, he's shooting, passing, he, he's, he's basically a playmaker on this. Like, he creates chance, chances, you know, with his passing, his technique, like his dribbling. He holds the ball really well. I won't recommend him otherwise, unless you want him to hold the ball well. And that's what he does, he passes, he creates chances. He's, yeah, that's the only reason why I've kept him. As you can see, 85 dribbling, 81 shot, 73 pace. Moving on, guys. Now, this is a really weird thing. People think, well, why would you have this player? But I don't know. He, in left mid, I think he's really good. And it's Robinho, as you can see, guys. Five-star skill, four-star weak foot. 88 pace, 91 dribbling, 75 shot. 77 passing. Now, this guy is obviously good on the left mid. Or left wing, you know, left mid. Because he's got the pace, and yes, he's got a beast, beast, beast long shot as well. As well as he creates chances, and he's excellent at crossing. Well recommended, guys. 
Okay, moving on to strikers, I've got Pato. <clears throat> now, this season on FIFA 13, Pato is now a bit better because of his pace. I think he's gone up by two. I'm not too sure. If anyone will tell me in the comments, please let me know on that. But as you see, 89 pace, 78 shooting, 83 dribbling, heading, 77. This person is an all round good player. He's got the shots, his shots are amazing. Um, Passing is amazing. He's dribbling. His control is really well. He's worth the buy, guys. If you're interested in one Brazilian, I would highly recommend Pato. Last one, last but least, Wellington. Now this guy, for four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves, 92 pace. He's got the pace what I want. The shooting, 79 shooting. It's not too bad, guys. 76 dribbling, 78 heading. He's heading, I don't think he's that good, I'm being totally honest here, but his pace, his shooting, he's got it all there, you know, guys. So, yeah, that is my team, and this is basically the squad builder, builder for Brazil. Um, <coughs> I was, <coughs> sorry guys, bad throat, um, I will be showing gameplay on this, but not obviously now because the video is long, it's like six minutes already, and I don't want it to be a too long video because people don't watch it all. But yeah, guys, I will be showing some gameplay in the next video on that. I will be doing also rating a player, buying <coughs> a player with 1 mil coins, rating him, telling you what I think. Like, is he worth it, I suppose, at series? Not not quite like that. Um, if any you've got any more suggestions, guys, please drop a comment. If you like this, if you don't, um, please thumbs it up. Yeah, and, but until then, guys, peace out.